Glenn Wool. Hello. I like to smoke. I know it's bad for me. The warnings on the package tell me so, which is fair enough. It is bad for me. The only problems with the warnings, they're very scientific. I think they should also have to be philosophical. In the front of every cigarette package, it says, smoking causes fatal diseases. In the back, I think you should have to say, but only 5% of the world's population believes death is the end. <laughs> mm, maybe I'm just spiritual. <laughs> you bring me closer to God. Death is a weird subject. Different people have different perceptions. Some people believe in guardian angels. I am not one of those people. See them on television, though, talking about their experiences. They weird me out. You know, always sitting there going, Well, I was on the edge of a cliff, and I started to slip, and a little hand reached out and grabbed me and pulled me back. I turned around to thank him, and there was nobody there. That's my guardian angel. <laughs> and my thing is, if you believe in guardian angels, it means you also believe in an afterlife. And if they're constantly saving you from dying, <laughs> maybe they just don't like you. <laughs> Death is a weird subject. People want to live forever now through science, which I don't understand, because I don't know what you think you can do in eternity that you can't do tomorrow. People want to live forever, so much so governments are now making rules about science. Cloning, in particular. They say if they catch a scientist trying to clone human beings, they're going to put them in jail. Prison, not really a threat to someone who can clone themselves. <laughs> We've arrested this guy five times. <laughs> Keeps showing up, can't speak any language, and dies in two weeks. We are the baffled authorities. <laughs> you can have your perception of death change, though. My brother's changed. He's got a new job. He's an assistant coroner. Picks up dead people for a living. Consequently, he now just hates fat people. <laughs> well, think about it. That's your shitty day at the office, you know? He just shows up. Oh, for Christ's sakes! All I'm saying is if you're over 300 pounds and you live on the third floor of a walk-up apartment, <laughs> no matter what you die of, nine times out of ten, it's going to get written down as a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Open the window, we have got ourselves a jumper. <laughs> Folks, I'm Big Glad. Well, thank you. Good night.